In the following sequences, the flow of contrast medium along the first centripetal loop of the colonic cone is shown. Contrast medium was infused at the oral site of the loop. A peristaltic wave enters the loop and propels the contrast medium distally. Now the colonic loop becomes visible. The small trail of the contrast medium indicates that the flow predominantly occurred in the center of the loop. Another peristaltic wave reaches the loop. Gas is propelled distally followed by the flow of chyme. The contrast medium slowly enters the horstra. The peristaltic waves start at the cecocolonic region at intervals of between 10 and 12 minutes. The gas which can be seen here is mainly produced in the cecum and flows distally in front of the chyme. The peristaltic waves distribute the gas over a large area of the colon. This may facilitate its absorption. A further peristaltic wave passes the loop. The gas in front of the wave expands the relaxed colon. The flow of chyme follows. This is the distal region of the loop. Meanwhile, the contrast medium has mixed with the colonic content. During the following wave, it can be seen that the gas breaks up the solid content. This obviously supports mixing of the luminal content. When the peristaltic wave has passed, prostration is enhanced. In addition to the long peristaltic waves, short colonic waves occasionally occur, propelling the luminal content a few centimetres distally. These occur rarely, however, and contribute little to the aboral flow of chyme.